Hello everyone. This is a continuation from my last video. This is me running the uh, CS590 Timberwolf again. Uh, I think I'm going to rename this thing the Timber Pup. So it's the biggest chainsaw I've ever run, but I think the name just works right for me. So uh, I'm going to be running the third tank of gas through it today. Um, like I said, this is the biggest chainsaw I've ever, ever run. This 59.8 cc. Prior to this, I was running uh, 42 cc chainsaws. I have a couple of Craftsman's and a, and a Poland, and they just, they don't quite have the power. Uh, the wood we're going to be working with today is about 20 inches across. It's live oak, uh, white oak, live oak, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's real tough wood. Uh, I wanted to split it with the axe, but I just have a cheap Home Depot axe. I believe it's a, uh, it's a Husky. And no matter how much I sharpen it, it just bounces right off this wood. This wood's been sitting here as uh, tree trunks for a couple of years now, but it's just as hard as a rock. So I don't have a good axe. Um, I don't plan on getting a good axe anytime soon until I learn how to axe better with the other one because I'll end up busting the handle right away. So I'm not that good of an aim yet. So like I said, today we're going to be... We're going to be quartering those logs up. I've already done a little bit of cutting on them uh, prior with the 42cc chainsaws, which just takes forever to get through them. But today, I'm going to go ahead and start quartering them up with this one, get them up to the house, and then we can uh, eventually get a log splitter and we can start splitting some logs. So, I've already got it filled up with gas. I got it filled up with oil, chain sharpened up. So, we should be ready to go. This is going to be a cold start. I haven't started this saw yet today. Just filled it up with fuel, filled it up with oil, and uh, we'll see how it does. So, I asked Santa Claus for some safety gear this year, so uh, we'll see what Santa Claus brings me for Christmas this year.
gas on a CS590 timber pup. So I was recording the end video that I was going to put out and noticed that the phone had the screen flipped the incorrect position. So here we go again. So I'm just going to show you. I'm ending up ending my day and going to go feed cows and drink beer here in a little bit. So that's what we got cut up so far today. But it's getting a little bit later. I got to get back up to the house. So. Get you on position. There you go. I'm enjoying this chainsaw a lot. Um, so far, my experience with Echo, they've been top notch. Um, I've never run a Husqvarna or a Still before, so I can't really compare right now. But I'm definitely enjoying it. It's the best chainsaw I've ever had. So. Maybe in the future, I might get something even bigger. We'll see. I mean, I think this will probably be able to get through most of the pile that I got here. Um, if I put a 24-inch bar on it, then I should be able to get through any any three-foot tree here. So I just go on either side of the tree. So, yep. So I ran one tank of gas through it. Went ahead and let it cool down a little bit. Filled it back up, filled it back up foil, gas. Uh, went ahead and sharpened my chain up, uh, adjusted the rakers down, and uh, got going again. And it was cutting real nice. Uh, this a little bit of dirt on this wood, so it dulled it a little bit. But uh, yeah, so the timber pup. If you're liking the video you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, if you would like to subscribe, I do plan on uh, putting some more content out coming up here in the near future. Uh, I'm going to be getting up to the property where me and my wife are going to build a house. I got cedar cutting, uh, clearing out that I got to do there. That's going to be the other chainsaw though, the uh, CS3510. Uh, so smaller chainsaw, but got a good amount of power for, for the way it is. It's real nice and light. It's got a 16 inch bar on it. So 
Also, I plan on putting a few other videos out, maybe working on some lawnmowers. Uh, I have a riding lawnmower, it's a 1998 Murray. Has a, I believe it's a 16 and a half horse. Bridge and Stratton on it. I need to replace the drive belts on it and replace the rear tires. Might put some videos out on that. Also, one of the uh, 42 cc chainsaws that I have, the uh, Craftsman, my original chainsaw that I purchased when I was younger. Uh, it's it's burned up. It's got scoring on the piston and cylinder right where the exhaust is, and a little bit on the intake side. So, looking at getting a new uh, cylinder and piston for that and putting that back together. I might make a video about that. So, until next time, I'll catch y'all later.